Hey there ladies and gentlemen, today I bring you a Little Cup Box Roulette battle against Creamy Cheese, who's a very old subscriber of mine who I haven't seen since Gen 5. So it's been quite some time and he messaged me out of the blue saying he would love to battle, uh, but he doesn't really have any competitive teams, and I said, that's fine, let's just do a Little Cup Box Roulette. You know, I, I give you the Pokemon that you use, you get to keep them, and, oh, hey, it's Little Cup, so added bonus there. So, uh, he said, yeah, that sounds great. He said he'd never played Little Cup before, which is usually the case with my Little Cup box roulette battles. Um, but that's okay, the whole point is to try to get people into it, and then when you're done, you have, uh, you might not actually have a good team, but you at least have, usually, like, half of a good team, or half, you have some Pokemon that you could use to make a good team. So, uh, he leads off with Marcel, my Mankey. I did decide to go ahead and give it a scarf, um, when I was giving it to him. So he goes ahead and U-turns out. I was I have my physical wall, Edgar Rice, uh, my Sand Shrew out, and so it's just gonna set up rocks. Uh, he doesn't have a spinner. He didn't get any spinners. Like I know, I know his team because it's I made these Pokemon. So I have a distinct advantage in all these battles. So I go ahead and set up rocks, and uh, that's great. I do not want to stay in against his fungus. I'm thinking it's probably going to go for the spore, and so I go out into another fungus. It's not the same fungus that you've seen before, this is a new breed that I have. Uh, it has hidden power, uh, it, it, uh, it's got a hidden power on it, don't want to really spoil what that is because someone's using it competitively, I bred it for someone specifically. So anyway, uh, I go ahead, so we're just going to swap sludge bombs here. My sludge bomb is doing about as much as his, so it's not a significant departure from my old uh, fungus set, but there are some small differences. Um, so yeah, so we're swapping, we're swapping uh, sludge bombs back and forth. I'm going to go ahead and withdraw, get the recovery, recovery from regenerator, and hope that he doesn't go for the spore on the expected switch. He didn't. He went for the sludge bomb, and I go out into my ghastly, who four x resists that sludge bomb, and so now I'm thinking he's probably going to go for the spore, and so I go, so he protects actually, so he didn't go for the spore, and uh, but it, this works out great for me anyway because I went for the sub. This is an old Gen 4 set that I, that was on my original Little Cup team back in Gen 4, and uh, 19 HP is an amazing HP number to hit uh, for Life Orb, first of all, because you only take one damage from Life Orb. And then for, uh, uh, for uh, Substitute, because you take four HP damage from Substitute, which means you could, I guess you can't make five Substitutes, but you can you can make right the, you can make four substitutes when usually you could only make three. Um, so he's he does a very strange play going out into uh, this is one of my new breeds. This is a one of two um, fletchlings that I've bred. The other is on my team. This one is a uh, mixed fletchling, naughty nat That one was a mixed fletchling, naughty nature, uh, and it's got overheat for dealing with steels. And it just wasn't a good Pokemon to bring out in that situation. It, I was like, why aren't you bringing out Ponyard? Because Ponyard completely walls the set, but he didn't necessarily know my set, so he didn't know that I wasn't carrying hidden power fighting. Uh, and so, yeah. So anyway, here he, I go ahead and switch out, because I know that he outspeeds. I could go for Sucker Punch, but it would have been resisted. And so I go back out into my physical wall, as he now is going to go out into Usain Bolt! My slow poke, oh my god, I love... Usain Bolt so much. I had to remove it from my uh, Super Staller Little Cup team because of um, Mischievous running around everywhere, and so I thought about putting it back now that Mischievous is banned, but it doesn't really work out. So, um, yeah, it's it's not so much that Mischievous was banned as that I lost um, my Dark Resist, and um, I used to have Murkrow, but Murkrow got banned a lot, a lot sooner, so... Um, I had to swap it out for Porygon, and I think Porygon does a better job. Here he makes a very weird play. I do not know why he would go out into his Ponyard here, but I am, of course, going to be able to uh, one-hit KO. Critical hit did not matter. This is the Life Orb variant, the one that is at 19 HP rather than uh, 21. So, yeah, it was a very weird play, and he lost his Ponyard for nothing, and now my Ghastly has free reign over the rest of his team. Um... So he goes ahead and uh, Ice Punches here, does not KO, but he gets the freeze, and I'm like, you know what, I'm really okay with that. Uh, I've So far, not a single one of my Pokemon has been taken out. I go for, I actually thought first turn, go for the EQ, do not manage to take him out, but I get him really close, and you know, uh, so with Rocks up, I'm actually not sure if he's at, if he's at more than 1 HP, then I think he survives, um, since he resists Salt Rock, I think he could actually switch out and come back in. 
So I go out now into Angler, and indeed he does switch out, and he's going to be able to take one more uh, Stealth Rock. I'm switching back in. And he goes out into Usain Bolt. Um, this was a very weird play in general because what I'm I'm, I'm probably going to go for the T Bolt, or not T Bolt, but maybe Discharge. But actually, this is my bold Chin Chow. It doesn't run Discharge. Its only attacking move is um, Scald, and the rest of the moves are uh, its sleep, its rest talk with um, with Heal Bell. So it's not, yeah, it, it, I actually can't do anything to Usain Bolt. Then again, Usain Bolt can't do jack to me either. Uh, but, you know, he's got the slack off, and I just, I, you know, I can be fishing for that burn, but it's not really going to help me too much. So I go now out into Prendar, my Porygon. This is so sad. This is this is, por uh, this is uh, Slowpoke and the Pokemon that replaced Slowpoke. Um, so, uh, so it's it's so sad. But, you know, Prendar has recovered, and that makes, and it, it gets better coverage generally. I've lost my coverage against Steels. That's the only thing. Uh, with my with my actually competitive little cup team, I have no I have no fire um, on my team at all, and that is actually really limiting. Um, so it's not that I don't have any cover against Steels because I have a fighting type. But okay, so here I'm just gonna sack Porygon because at this point it would be nice if he got, you know, I, I can afford to sack it, and uh, I mean I could have gone out into Fungus, but. Eh. Also, you know, he, oh, he could have gone to the Ice Punch, but I could have taken the Ice Punch most likely because it's non-stab. And Mankey's not that strong. So now I go out into Mrs. Johnson. This is my other um, Fletchling. This one is uh, this one is adamant, not naughty, and runs no special attacking move. Uh, so it's three physical attacks, which means that it's walled by a considerably larger portion of the metagame. But it means that it's got a bit higher special defense and uh, oftentimes you don't actually want that special move because no matter what special move you choose whether it be overheat or hidden power grass um, doesn't you're still gonna get walled by someone so okay I, I'm just going for swords dances here uh, he went for the shadow claw first turn thinking that he actually told me later that he uh, thought that I didn't he didn't know that I was normal type and you know I guess if you're new to gen 6 then you're new to gen 6 so I go for the acrobatics here at plus four it's still not enough to one hit KO but it's gonna be a two hit KO he does manage to get a min max damage thing there and take me out with two sacred swords and I'm really okay with that I go now out into uh, ghastly and I know that he has the shadow sneak but I have the sucker punch and I outspeed and long Claude doesn't resist that um, because it's gen 6 uh, well, they wouldn't resist it anyway, but it's super effective. So that is the end of the battle. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this Little Cup box roulette. If you would like some free Little Cup Pokemon, just fill out the form in the uh, description. And uh, yeah, I will get those to you as soon as I can. So uh, that's it, folks. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge so long.